Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Theme Hospital. I hope you're having a wonderful day because I, I am now highly regarded in the hospital community for my excellent services and care. So I have to, I have a reputation to maintain as well, is the thing. Also, my surgeons may see a couple of new issues that they have to take care of in the operating theater. Hopefully, I can accomplish these goals for the cheery land of Snuffet Sands. I need to cure 300 patients, treat 70% of patients, accumulate $125,000 in the bank, have a hospital worth $150,000, and maintain a reputation of 600. So a fair bit of work, basically. Fair bit of work needing done there. But we are gonna begin by getting two, uh, 20 benches, about 20 benches, and uh, two reception desks. Because the reception desks are gonna go there, and also uh, there. Then between those, I would like to put a whole bunch of benches, so we have a nice seating area here, just like that. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really get benches in the middle or anything, but that's gonna have to do the job. Uh, and I think I'm gonna put some benches there as well, even though they're not the mo it's not the best place to put them. But some benches there will be fine. So there we go, we placed uh, 14 of the 20 benches. What we're then gonna do is get ourselves two GP's offices because they'll fit really nicely in these corners here. Is it obvious I've had a little bit of a look around on uh, on this level? Because it kind of should be. I have had a little bit of a, uh, a snoop around, shall I say, just to see what kind of layout we're dealing with here. And it's an interesting one. Oh boy. Oh boy, is it an interesting one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna hire the GPs as I go along. Because that way they don't all get tired at exactly the same time. Even though the game is running so slowly, it's not gonna make much of a difference. Uh, but it'll make a slight difference in stopping them all from, you know, going to the staff room at exactly the same time. There'll at there will at least be a very slight delay in them all going off to the staff room. So that's another GP's office there. And we'll get ourselves uh, this fella to work in that one. Next up, I would like to get a general diagnosis just in that spot. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, the door and the windows and all that stuff. We're going to need to get the screen just there and the machine just... I'll chuck it there for the sake of it, just to spread out the room a little bit. And we'll go ahead and get ourselves another... Uh, G, not a GP, another doctor, there we go. Alright, next up, I'm gonna wanna get myself, let's see, the cardiogram, which can go on this side, sort of opposite the general diagnosis. So just chuck all the, the door and windows and all that stuff there. Machine there. And screen there. Alright. I am gonna need to get handyman as well. Let's see, let's, um, let's, let's get... A handyman so uh, he can sort of go about and do his thing but it also means that he's not he's gonna go to the staff room at a different time to everybody else as well which is kind of important plus I'm gonna hire more handyman than just the one so there will absolutely be you know a mix of everyone going to uh, the staff rooms at different times which I think is gonna be important uh, so we have the psychiatry room there I realized I didn't hire the doctors that we needed for those whoops uh, we don't have a psychiatrist available, so that's fine. We'll get him in a little bit. What else are we gonna need? Well, we have the inflation clinic, so we might as well throw it in there. And that is pretty much the last room we're gonna have up here at the front of the hospital. So, uh, we'll get the inflator, or the deflator, reinflator thing, whatever it's called. And we'll get ourselves, uh, one more doctor. We'll go for this guy. He's a bit slow, but... The thing is, I don't want to hire a surgeon or a researcher or anything like that, because if we do, then what's going to happen is I'm going to pay them more money for a job that they're not really doing. So I do want to make sure that we aren't uh, hiring anyone completely unnecessary. So let's go ahead and buy uh, eight radiators. And we're going to throw one there and one there. There and there and in there as well. And then these last two are just going to sit outside like this to uh, sort of heat up this general area. Uh, then what I'd like to do as well is buy eight benches as well. 
So, eight of those, which can sit just in front of uh, these rooms up here. Because obviously I can't put benches in the middle there because of the benches that are already facing that way. Uh, so, just a few benches around the edges there. I can't actually put one there either. Oh, that would block off the area, wouldn't it? Interesting. Very, very interesting the way I've done this. Uh, I can put a bench there, though. And... I would assume I can put a bench... Yeah, I can put one there as well. Okay. Well, I guess that's hopefully going to be enough seating for everybody. We do still have a bit of money left, though, and we don't actually have a pharmacy yet. So I'm thinking we're going to go here. We're going to buy that chunk of the hospital. And this is where the staff room and the pharmacy and the toilets can go, I think. So we'll go for a gap of, like, two there. And we'll make the staff room... Uh, I'm going to say about that size, I think. So that'll be the staff room. Door and window just go there. And uh, we'll get a sofa. We'll get a couple more of those. Uh, we'll go for one, two, three of them. A pool table and a TV. I reckon I can get that all in there. So the pool table can go there. The sofa can go there. We can get another, another sofa just there. And uh, I don't think I'm going to get another sofa in here. Oh, no, I can. Okay. There we go. So that's the staff room. A little bit cramped, but it'll do the job. We are going to want to get some toilets, so uh, if we go one, two, uh, this is about where we want them to be. And we want them to be about that size there. Alright, get the door, get the window, get the toilet, get the sink. And I like this layout. I actually, I really do enjoy the uh, the look of this particular hospital. I'm liking these ones that all have kind of the, the weird uh, layout and weird shape to them all and, and all that. I, I really do like this. Plus... We have this big corridor just going around everything at the moment, which will be pretty cool too. So let's finish things off with a pharmacy, which can go in there. It's a little bit smaller than the rooms beside it, but I think that looks all right. Gives me a space to put a drinks machine and some benches. So there we go. Uh, we are going to want to get three... Let's go for four more radiators. So one of them goes there, one there, and one just uh, there. Then we'll just put one, I guess, there as well. And that should be okay. Uh, so we'll get a drinks machine as well and three benches. And the benches can go one, two, three with a drinks machine. Uh, there. I like it. I really like that little area. And what we can do is eventually, like, put a big ward here or something. And then that'll be pretty good. So, with that, we do need to get ourselves a psychiatrist. Hopefully there's one looking for some work. There is, but he's also a surgeon. Um, so we're going to have to hire him. He's a highly skilled doctor, but we're getting him for psychiatry. Uh, we'll also get you as me nurse. And I think that's all right. Okay. Uh, last thing we need to do then before we open this hospital is go through and chuck all of the, uh, the prices up to about 110%. Just so that... Uh, we can make some nice funds. Above, oh, that, that one went a bit high there. Uh, above the price as well, you can see my reputation's 500 at the moment. So we need to get that up to 600 and keep it there. Which hopefully we can do. I reckon, I've never paid attention to my reputation before, so... I don't actually know how difficult it is to, um, to manage. But we'll see. Either way, I'm pretty sure we are now set to... Get this place open. I'm excited to see how it, uh, how it performs. Very excited indeed. Hopefully we're not going to need, you know, a ward or an operating theater right away. That would be a bit of a pain. I mean, I could, you know what? I could just take a loan, couldn't I? I could just take a, a big old loan and be like, yo, let's just get all this stuff in here. Let's, let's have a look. Let's see. Let's take a loan of 30, uh, $30,000 is the highest loan we can take. That'll do. $30,000. Because a ward is, is still fairly basic. So, if I wanted a giant ward, which I kind of do. I like the idea of having a giant ward. Uh, although it does seem a little bit unnecessary. Um, let's go for a ward at that size, because I can maybe get the operating theater next to it, which would be kind of nice. So we'll do that. That's going to be the ward. There's going to be a desk just... Uh, can I get it there? I can. That's perfect. Uh, then the beds can go down there. So, give me three more beds and one more desk. And I want to put a desk just there. And then uh, bed, bed, and bed. So, it's not a big ward by any stretch of the imagination, but it'll do the job. 
Next to that, I'm wondering, can I get an operating theater? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. All right. This is good. This is actually really, really good because we're dealing with the, um, with two things that are quite expensive, admittedly, uh, but that do absolutely need to be dealt with. So I'm excited about this. Uh, throw that in there. Throw that just on the, the wall in that corner. And there we go. We are going to need two surgeons. We are also going to need two new nurses. So you can work in there and you can work in there. Let's also make sure people aren't leaving their rooms, because if they're leaving their rooms, then we have a problem. Uh, let's have a look at me doctors that are looking for work at the moment. Uh, none of them are remotely qualified. So, <laughs> we can't actually get, we can't currently get, uh, anyone working in these spaces right now, but that's fine. Give me some benches across here. Uh, and one just there as well. Okay. Oh, I forgot about radiators. Totally forgot about radiators. Give me four of them. I reckon four of them could do the job. One and two and three and four. All right. So what do we think of this? I reckon this will work. I reckon this will work. Should work. Once we get the surgeons in there especially. Once we get a bunch more uh, patients as well. But we do, I think, now have... I didn't get receptionists. Oh my god. How did I forget receptionists? Wow. Okay. Uh, receptionist... And, uh, receptionist. There we go. So now that we have the receptionists, we should be able to bring some people into the hospital. The boiler and radiators are working again. Good. So you're going to go off to the GP. And you're going to be sent uh, to general diagnosis. Then you're going to go to the other GP. And from there, you are going to the ward, I assume? No, the pharmacy. Okay. So that's him treated. That's my first patient. Not bad. It looks like both of the GPs. Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot of them did just go to the staff room at the same time. That's not ideal. <laughs> that's really not ideal. Uh, have we got any surgeons looking work? Nope. Not good. That is, uh, that is very not good. We have someone that's looking surgery at the moment. So hopefully we can, uh, get some surgeons fairly soon. We've discovered golf stones caused by exposure to poison gas inside golf balls. Yeah, I think we've had that before. Pretty sure we've had that before. Uh, let's see. It is a new month. Any surgeons? Researcher. Seriously? Seriously, no surgeons? Are we really doing this? Are you my, uh, you better be my, uh oh. Hold on a minute. Where is my... Hold on, we've got a VIP wanting to come here. Rocket Ronnie Jepson wants to come back. That's fine. Right, now hold on. We might have a problem here. Uh, gastric ejections. That's fine. Unexpected swelling. That's fine. The symptom was swelling, obviously. Uh, right. So this guy is also a surgeon. That's going to become annoying that he is also a surgeon. Because he's going to bugger off into here every now and then to... Um, perform surgery, basically, and also, you know, talk to you about your problems in the process. Again, no surgeons. We need some surgeons, man. There's three people waiting for surgery. We really need to get some surgeons on the go here. What have we discovered? We've discovered something. What is it? Uh, we've exhausted all of our diagnosis machines. We're not sure what's wrong. I have the patient. Oh, it's, oh God, it's one of these guys. Oh, it's, I think it's like the King Syndrome or something. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it's one of the Elvis impersonators. Yeah, he doesn't, there's nothing we can do about him at the moment. I'm pretty sure we have to send him to a research room to start with. I think that's generally what you do. Uh, can I pay off my loan? Yeah, I technically can. Um... But I don't really have the, uh, I don't really have the money at the moment. It is now September, though. Can I get some surgeons? Yes! I can get one. A good start. Uh, can I get another one? Is the question. Uh, yes, I can. Okay. So there we go. We have our two surgeons, which means we can finally make a start on, well, surgery. Which I assume is kind of, yeah, $1,000 isn't bad. 
Okay, Rocket Ronnie Jepson's visit is over. Now that's what I call a hospital. Yes, yes it is. Thank you very much, Rocket Ronnie Jepson. Much appreciated, buddy. Got plenty, plenty of money. Start paying off me. I'll pay off me loan in a minute. You sell down there, mate. You just stay down there and stop talking. Uh, we have an emergency coming in. It is eight people with the uncommon cold. I reckon we can deal with the uncommon cold. That is just eight people going straight to a pharmacy. So that shouldn't take too long. Hopefully. We'll see. Looks like we're getting there. Looks like we're going to do it in time as well. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 I just realized the nurse left the pharmacy. Seriously? Can't necessarily say I appreciate that. Come on. There's not a lot of time left. Definitely not a lot of time left. Come on, we got this. Yeah, there we go. Job done. Uh, so... Things are going pretty well here, actually. 21 patients cured. Let's pay off me loan completely. There we go. So the loan's gone. No more reminders about that. We got the bonus from the emergency. We discovered fake blood. And it's already... It's already a new year. Not bad. I guess I am running the game at a pretty high speed at this point. Like, I, I am running the game a bit faster than I was in the first couple of levels. But, I mean, that's going to happen. I'm... I'm feeling a bit more confident about what we're doing here. And I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, we still need to get a research room, don't we? Maybe we should... Uh, maybe we should invest in... A new area. Because I would like to get a research room so I can start getting some new things. Uh, a training room would be good as well. So let's get a... Let's get a research department here. We'll go for a pretty big size on it. We'll do that. Get a window on it. Put the research machine itself sort of there. Put a desk there and a filing cabinet just in there. But I would like to get maybe like three desks and see if I can just get some seriously advanced and like speedy research going. Um, ah, that'll do. Three desks is more than enough. So confirm that. We're gonna need to get some researchers. But I'm also liking the idea of maybe getting a training facility over here as well. So just something a bit like uh, a bit like that to uh, get people trained up. So we'll go ahead and put that there. Uh, we'll put the seats just in here as well. We're going to get a few of those. We'll go for five of them, get a bookcase, get a skeleton, one up. So that can go there and there and there and there. And we could put one back there as well. Might as well. Uh, bookcase, skeleton, job done. Gonna need to get a consultant, but that's probably fine. Uh, let's get ourselves a couple of benches. Even though we don't really need them done here, might as well, because we, we might send a lot of people to the research room at some point, so... Just go ahead and get a whole bunch of benches done that way. And, uh, let's see if we can hire a researcher. Uh, so, you're not a researcher... None of you are consultants, either. You are a, uh, a psychiatrist, though. It's tempting to fire me old psychiatrist, because he is also a, uh... Yeah, fire you. Get out. And, uh, let's hire the guy that is just a psychiatrist. That way, he's never going to be tempted to leave and, uh, go to the, uh, operating theater. That seems like it might be a pretty good idea. Uh, now, it is just ticked over into February. It has just ticked over into February as well. Can I get myself a... Nope, no researchers. Any consultants? Nope. That's going to have to do. No researchers, no consultants. Uh, this guy wants a pay rise. Sure. I have got the option on to... Uh, yeah, always grant pay rise demands. Just so we can uh, get those dealt with quickly. We have a visitor. Councillor Crawford Per... Pervez. Per... Per... Pervez. I'm gonna say Pervez. Yeah. I think that might be a little joke there. I think his name might be, uh... Might be a little... Oh, that's, um... <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, someone with a broken heart, that's fine. I mean, it's not. Poor guy. But, you know... I think the broken heart is, uh, basically, go rest in the ward, and then we eventually we operate to fix the heart. I'm not even joking. Uh, any... 
Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hire you. Into research you go. There we go. And 1st of April. Any new researchers? Uh, no, but a lot of, uh, a lot of psychiatrists. Oh, hold on a minute. I realize I also haven't had a look to see if there's any... Ah, you're a consultant. Get in there. There you go, mate. Enjoy your new job. Thing is, how do I... How do I go ahead and do training stuff? I've really got no idea. Specialization. That is... I have no idea what that is, honestly. Uh, so that's research. That's the case book. That's stats. Me stats are... Alright. We're doing alright. Could be doing better, admittedly, but we're doing alright. Uh, let's see. Diagnosis, termination. Uh, that's fine. I honestly have no idea how to do the, um... The trading thing. I really don't. Like, if I click you... Is there a way I can, like, hey, go, I, can, I can say, hey, go and get trained up or something? That would be nice. I just, I have no idea how that kind of thing works. I really don't, I don't remember. This is the one thing I do not remember in the slightest. Hmm. I might have to, um, I might have to Google that. How to, uh, how to get training working in Theme Hospital. We'll see. Uh, let's get another researcher. He's also a surgeon, but he'll do the job. There we go. Three three researchers. I assume research is going to go, yeah, pretty well. Not bad. Not bad at all. What is this? That is, uh, the counselor. Yeah, he's been in a few hospitals. I'm sure you have, you creepy bugger. I'm sure you have. That was a real, that was a, that was an easy joke on my part. I do apologize. That one was low effort. That was a bit of a low effort joke, I'm going to be honest. But whatever, um, how do I, how do I get people to go and, like, study? How do I, how do I click in someone and be like, yo, go, go get some learning? Like, if I, if I were to grab you here and chuck you in there. Oh, apparently that's how I do it. Just killed me first patient, whoops. I don't know what this guy's even learning at this point. Oh, well, we got a couple of things done here. What's this? Uh, we've exhausted all of our diagnosis. Wait while we build more rooms. We've discovered gut rot called by Mrs. O'Malley's good time whiskey cough mis mixture. That's mis classic Mrs. O'Malley. Uh, and let's have this guy wait as well. That'll be fine. Uh, so you're being... You're being taught something. I don't really know what you're being taught. But it is something. Is that how you do? Oh, hello. So is is that how you do education? You just pick them up and drop them in. That seems like it would be really inefficient. You gotta be honest. It just seems like it would be really, really inefficient. What is this? That is ability level. Is that going up at all? I really have no idea. Huh. Whatever. Uh, let's have a look here and see what this is. Take it, uh, just wait while we build more rooms. Oh, he just left. Where's he going? Well, where are you going? Where are you going? You're a researcher. Get into the research room, please. Go in there. Wait, he's going to the thing. Where's he going? Oh, he's going there. Okay, whatever. Sure. That's fine. I've killed two people. Um, oh, well, we, did I not hire any, I did hire handymen. But apparently they're not doing a very good job at all. Jesus, they're not doing a good job. This area is also very busy here. Um, yeah, a lot of people need to see my GPs. I think I might need to get another few GPs offices. I think that might be a good idea. Let's buy that area by that area. Just because we might as well. Uh, can I get GPs offices in here? Yes, I can. Okay. We're going to get three GP's offices. We're going to get three new GP's offices. And uh, this should be interesting. So we'll get one there. And we'll get ourselves a new GP. And then we're going to go 
and get another GP's office just there. It's an interesting layout, this area. Very, very interesting layout. Uh, put that there and there. And we'll hire ourselves another GP. This guy's not very good. Uh, you're a bit better. You're very good. You'll do. All right. Oh, we have someone demanding a pay rise. Uh, sure. Go for it, buddy. You, uh, you just take all the pay you want as long as you do your job. I really don't care. So let's get another GP's office just there as well. Okay, so that, I imagine, is gonna be enough in the way of, uh, GP's offices. We have also just researched X-Ray down at the bottom right there. X-Ray's been researched. Okay. So we have those GP's offices. We're gonna get a lot of benches. We'll go for, like, 14. And, uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we actually needed uh, eighteen, which is fine. One two, uh, or was it eighteen? No, we needed seventeen. Uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, I think we have a bunch of benches along there, though, so that should be fine. But yeah, this seems like uh, this seems like a pretty good area. We have uh, you needing to wait a bite, mate. We have you needing to wait a bite as well. And you can take a pay rise. All right. That's definitely an interesting area. Very, very interesting area. Uh, let's see. Diagnosis. We probably should get the x-ray. In terms of treatment, I don't think there's anything we don't currently have. Um, so, yeah, I guess diagnosis will get an x-ray on the go. Can I get it in there... No, it has to actually be in a pretty big room. Okay, X-Ray is going to have to go over here then. So X-Ray can live um, there. Which I suppose is... Yeah, 6 by 6. Okay. So we'll get a door on there and a window there. We'll get the X-Ray machine itself to live just there and that thing to live there. I don't think this actually fits. I really, I'm not entirely convinced that this all fits in this room. Um, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not convinced by this. Uh, what if I put the X-ray machine like there, and then put this thing that? Nope. Also doesn't fit. So, how exactly do I get this to work then? What if I put the door like there instead? So this thing can go in first, and the machine itself would have to go, like, somewhere in there, but I can't actually do that. This this room is not big enough. This room is straight up not big enough for the extra machine. Where is it? Can I, can I get it anywhere? No. Um, okay. Well, in that case, the room just needs to be a bit bigger. There we go. So that size. Door there. Done. Uh, machine there and screen can actually go there, but that's actually sort of besides the point of the screen. Let's move the extra machine itself to um, there, I guess, and put the screen itself just over there. All right, that'll do the job. Gonna need to get a doctor to operate the x-ray room. You have the job there, you lucky sod. And uh, we'll get ourselves one, two, three, four, five... Six. Six benches. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So there we go. That's the, uh, that's the x-ray up and running. Elvis is off to be x-rayed. And, uh, you want a pay rise? Sure. There you go. You can enjoy your pay rise if you want to, buddy. Uh, Elvis has gone back to the GP there. A couple of people want pay rises. Jesus. Okay. Let's just do that. What have we discovered? King complex caused by the spirit of the king entering the patient's mind and taking over. Symptoms are donning of colorful suede footwear and eating cheeseburgers. The cure is a psychiatrist tells the patient how ridiculous he or she looks. <laughs> I love this game, man. I really do. Uh, boilers and radiators are working perfectly. Good. We've discovered invisibility. How are we looking then? How, what's, what's the stats? The hospital value is getting up there. We've only cured 81 of 300 people, and we don't currently have enough money, but... Our reputation is 601. We've cured 91% of our patients. So I'd say we're doing a pretty good job. 
There's a VIP wants to visit as well. King Bernard of the Netherlands wants to come by. Feel free, your majesty. Not bad though. This is this is this is going real well. I'm actually really pleased with this. Uh, you can have a pay rise there, mate, and uh, so can you. All right. I can't help but notice that we haven't at any point sent anyone to the research room yet. I feel like that's a thing we need to do more. I also need more drinks machines, I reckon. So let me get like six of those. Let me get a few bins as well because the place is freaking filthy. Uh, so drinks machine can go there and there. And we'll get a drinks machine. Uh, I'll say there and there as well. Then we can get a drinks machine there and there as well. Then bins need to go like uh, there. Can people still walk through there? Yes, they can. So bins can go in a few spots around the place. Just like that. So people can uh, be a little bit less filthy, hopefully. There we go. All right. A couple of pay rise demands. I don't know why this isn't being automatically dealt with. I really don't know why that isn't being automatically dealt with, but whatever. I oh, forgot to say, you seriously want to pay rise as well, mate? Fine, there you go. Okay, well, ladies and gents, I reckon I'm going to leave it there for today. Next time, we're probably just going to expand a little bit further into this space if we can. Uh, we could probably get another pharmacy in there. We could get another couple of GP's offices, although I think that might be unnecessary. We have this space over here. If we happen to research anything new, which I don't think we have done. I mean... No, there doesn't seem to be anything. So yeah, next time it's just going to be a case of maintaining this hospital, making sure everything goes well for it, and uh, that would be job done with this one as well. I don't think it's as big as the hospital we were in before, but I do really like it, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you kind of for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Don't forget to share it on social media, and I will see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>